I'm here with Matthias from the server team. Hi, Matthias. Hi. How have you enjoyed UDS so far? It's been quite a challenging week and lots of good um, discussions. So I really enjoy and I'm really hopeful about what we're going to achieve for Entropy. You've had a lot of people from upstream teams here um, that work with you and the server team. Do you want to talk a little bit about that? Yes. Um, this week we had Owar Chu, the chief architect of the OpenLab project that was here. There was also Dan Shear from the Samba project. So with the help of these two guys and the whole server team, we discussed big corporate environment deployments. And so we talk a lot about directory services and integration or replacement of Active Directory. Um, that also led to questions about our users and what kind of system administrator we want to target and so how to make it simpler for big uh, corporation to administer all of their softwares and their network interfaces and all the networks. So there was a lot of buzz and a lot of thinking. Um, we still need to refine the technical details to achieve that, but it seems that um, a lot of bits and pieces have been um, our are exist in the different ecosystems, such as OpenLDAP is really efficient now, very performant. Samba is making a lot of um, advances in uh, producing a really reliable uh, products and great integration. So it seems that now we need to integrate all of this and projects start to talk to each other and OpenLDAP and Samba, for example, took some time uh, this week to figure out how they can better work together. Um, and now, on our side, from the Ubuntu server team uh, perspective, we need to integrate that, polish that, and put a lot of glue so that the end users can easily use um, all these good projects and basically uh, compete or replace Active Directory. Is some of that glue things like um, graphical tools for administering user accounts and things like that um, over a large scale? Exactly. So these are the kind of things that end users and sysadmin needs uh, because right now you could achieve everything just using Samba and OpenLab, but it's very command line oriented. So we need to put the glue, and this is what I meant by gluing all this stuff, is system administration, uh, tools, integration, when you install one package, it all pops up automatically in other pieces of the of the infrastructure so so that if you deploy a mail server for example you will be able to pull your uh, users information from active directory and and as i said all the tools are there all the building components are there so now we just need to integrate everything and is samba 4 a, a big part of that because samba 4 is very different from the previous samba versions exactly so Dan Scher gave an overview of the Samba project uh, during the FOSS camp, which was about 10 days ago. And uh, so Samba 4 is the rewrite of uh, Samba 3, and they've changed um, a lot of their the, the process to actually generate the code automatically. I think like 63% of the code is currently generated. But apart from Samba 4, there was also a big change in the Samba project environment, which is the EU uh, judgment that happened a couple of months ago. So that now, um, as Dan said a couple of times, the Samba project is no longer radioactive. And now it's it switched towards um, really engineering problem where you have a set of specs and documents and you need to read them and you just need to implement it. So. Um, that has some consequences on the summer project itself. So they've changed, for example, the version control system, and they have release managers that are, ready, that, that have, that are dealing with the whole um, release process. And so we, he expects a lot of changes coming out of the summer project. And uh, as I understand it, Samba 4 has got its own internal LDAP server, I and mean, it can use an external one still, but it has its own one, and it can do things like Active Directory policies, and, and really to be a, what we would usually call a domain controller for Active Directory, rather than just a member server. Uh, is that something that uh, the Ubuntu server team sees as uh, an important market? Yeah, so this is one of the topics that we've been discussing with uh, the OpenLDAP project and Samba, is how we can provide an Ubuntu directory services product. So we don't have definite answers and different ideas about that. We're still discussing what is the target market and what we can try to achieve 
within the next six months, which because we're still thinking about a lot about Intrepid. Um, so Samba 4 is probably not in the time frame of, of Intrepid. Um, but possibly is within the time frame of our next long-term release in 18 months. Probably. We don't know. <laughs> like Dan always says, um, Samba is going to release at the end of the year, but we don't know which year. <laughs> um, if people are interested in getting involved in the server team or helping out and contributing, how can they do that? So there are multiple ways uh, to get involved in the server team and you don't necessarily need to have a strong packaging technical background, for example. Uh, one of the, um, the area where you can get involved is in documentation. So we talked this morning about uh, upgrading and reviewing the whole Ubuntu server guide and changing a little bit of the structure. So um, we're looking for testers and reviewers so that you go through the different sections and making sure that the information there is accurate. Um, that actually doesn't require a lot of technical skills and deep understanding of the system. And I think it's also a very good way to get started with Ubuntu server. So if you're just interested to figure out the product and you actually want to contribute to the community quite fast, uh, just install something, take a, a section of the Ubuntu server guide and try to follow it and make sure that things are accurate. And if there are some points that you don't understand, just drop by Ubuntu server on uh, Freenode and ask around. Excellent. Are you going out tonight to the party? Oh, I think so. I'm not a musician, but I really enjoy listening to music and maybe a little bit of dancing. Excellent. Thank you very much for talking to us. You're welcome.